Jeremiah chapter 3, down in, in we, we kind of worked on, finished up last week with verse 16, and it came to pass, when ye be multiplied and increased in the land, in those days, saith the Lord, that this would be future days, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant okay, of the Lord, neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done anymore. So, in the, in the, you know, there, there's still archaeologists, I mentioned this last week, are, are, are uh, uh, obsessed about finding the Ark of the Covenant. And it's, it's uh, you know, they're, they keep thinking it's buried somewhere under, under the Temple Mount. Yeah, it's in that warehouse in, at, the, at the end of Lo Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's, it's there in that warehouse. Yeah, that's exactly where it is. <clears throat> yes, but, uh, uh, and that's what this, this verse is referring to is, is, you know, uh, soon or in the future, that because this is a prophecy of the future, in those days, uh, nobody will, will think about the Ark of the Covenant because they won't need to because, verse 17, at that time they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord. Okay? And remember, in Revelation, when New Jerusalem... The city four square comes down to earth. That will be, that will be, you know, that's, I, I think that's what that's referring to, is at that time when that happens. Okay. Uh, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it. And that, that fits in, again, with, with that in Revelation about the city four square. Okay. Uh, and all... Uh, shall be to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem. Okay? And, and that's, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be when every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Okay? And uh, so in verse 17, that, that, you know, explains why the Ark of the Covenant won't be remembered anymore. Because... In, in verse 17, uh, all the nations shall be gathered unto it, Jerusalem, to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. Okay? Uh, and that, you know, that, again, this is that future when, uh, let's see, does that happen, that happens before the, the, City Four Square comes down, New Jerusalem. Come, does that come before the thousand year uh, or after? Yeah. Anyway, and where where everybody will be saved then. Okay. Everybody will know that Jesus was our Messiah and is our Messiah, is our Savior. And in those days... In those future days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel. Now, remember earlier, okay, uh, uh, the house we, we've got Israel and Judah separated. Israel is including the northern ten tribes. Okay, this is not the whole. He, he's separating Israel and Judah because Israel, the northern ten tribes that were taken into captivity several years before by the Assyrian Empire. Okay. And, uh, uh, and remember, they compared uh, Israel's sin. Israel was, was, their sin was still idolatry. Okay. But they, they, they weren't, uh, according, you know, according to what the Bible says here in this chapter, uh, Israel was, was not the, uh, the big hypocrites about it. That you know they they went and went and worshipped their their idols, but they didn't go then into the temple and 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 pretend like they're you know uh, making their sacrifice to the, to the one and true God. Okay. But Judah, their sin was worse 
than Israel's because they did that. They, they you know, went to the temple, made their sacrifice, went home, went to their little grove or, or their little uh, shrine of, of whoever, whichever god they had, okay, the, whichever idol they were worshiping in the day. So Judah's sin was worse. Okay? So that's why in those days, the house of Judah, okay, Israel, if you will, will repent first. They will come back to God first, and then Judah, and that's why Judah is mentioned first here, shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north, and this, this is, uh, again, this, this is land of the north. This also refers to, you know, the Babylonian empire, that, that's what the land of the north refers to is the, the Babylonian Empire at, at the time. Okay? And this also, uh, you know, again, this, this is future. And because of the time that Jeremiah is preaching this, you know, they're, they're thinking, thinking that, that this would be at the time, at the an end of the captivity. Well, that didn't quite work out. Uh, so, so we've got still, it's still going to happen. Okay. Uh, they shall come together out of the land of, to the, of the north to the land that I give, I have, I have given. Now this is pa have given, yeah, past tense. I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. I gave it to my people. Okay. It's theirs, it's yours. And... <laughs> You will all come back together, and that's that's pretty much, uh, you know, that's partially fulfilled here. What was it? Yeah, it was like May of 1948, I think, if I remember my history right. May of 1948, when the the nation of Israel was reestablished, and the Jews were and the Jewish people uh, were were allowed to come back to the new nation of Israel at the time, come back to the, to the land that they officially owned because they, they conquered it. Joshua and, and Israel conquered it back then. And so, you know, that's partially come. But I said, okay. now, again, you know, God's going, uh, going back, uh, you know, uh, Remember, he, he asked the question, you know, uh, shall I stay angry forever? Well, this is, this is a similar type question. But I said, how shall I put thee among the children? Okay. Remember, he compared uh, us, you know, to children and to, to brides and wives. Okay. And, and, you know, showed the, the love to, of his children and, and the... And the uh, uh, wife coming back, a, a yeah, a wife coming back to a husband who uh, who put her put her away for a bill of divorcement, divorced her. Okay. Well, so how how shall I put thee among the children, and give thee a pleas a pleasant land? Okay. How how should this happen? Uh, you know, w when all this stuff you've done. How is this going to happen? Well, it's all, all again goes back to, to God's <laughs> grace and mercy okay? and, and, and his love for us. And give, you know, how, how is this going to And give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the hosts of nations. Okay? And, and I said, well, here's the, the answer to, my, to the question. Thou shalt call me my father, and shalt not turn away from me. Okay? Repentance works out to, to God taking us back, taking them back. That's the only way that, 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 that we, uh, well, first of all, the, the only way that we as, as Gentiles get to heaven, and the only way that they 
as the Hebrews and the children of Israel and his chosen people, they, they, they have to accept the Messiah as their Savior. We have to accept Jesus as our Savior. One and the same, Jesus is the Messiah, Jesus is our Savior, and believers, and, and if we backslide, like Israel did, the whole nation, Israel and Judah, they did, they backslid, you know, they, they forgot about God, you know, who cares, uh, and that's why they're, they're going to be in trouble in the captivity, so, uh, but, uh, goodly, thou shalt call me father, and shalt not turn away from me. Just true uh, repentance, okay? coming back, and and don't don't we sometimes almost have we have to do that practically every day, uh, you name it. After every uh, every minute, you know, after every uh, 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 I, I've mentioned, you know. Uh, uh, you know, the guy's following me too closely and road, <laughs> every minute of road rage where I'm, you know, under my breath. <laughs> yeah. Sort of. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Got to repent. And, and, you know, hey, thou shalt call me my father and shall not turn away. Surely, as a wife treacherously departeth from her husband, so have ye, de he's, he's telling them like it is here, okay, you guys, you're just like a wife, treacherously departeth from her husband, so ye have treacherously, so ye have dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. Okay. The whole nation, he, he, he lumps them back together, the whole nation, dealing treacherously with the God that, that loves them, with the God that loves us, you know, and, yeah. So, uh, surely, okay. Uh, and now we come down to verse 21, kind of a little, little change of, of subject here. Oh, but not really. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel for they have perverted their way and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Okay. Uh, you know, when, 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 when we really, when we, when we realize, you know, how, how horrible sinners we are and how, when they realize how, what the horrible sinners that they were, okay, uh, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel. Remember, they, the, uh, they uh, uh, you know, cried out when, in the Egyptian captivity, when the, Egypt, uh, the Egyptians had them, and before Moses came to, to take them out, you know, they were crying out to God, you know, save us, save us, and uh, weeping and supplications, okay, of the children of Israel, and, and after 70 years, well, they were captive in, in Egypt for 400 years, and this is just 70 years, and, and they're going to be... Uh, they learned well from their... Yeah. Sessions, cry a lot. Cry a lot, exactly. And, and we can learn to, you know, learn, learn the same lesson. You know, something, something goes on. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and oh, yeah, oh, I saw uh, 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 Facebook. Uh, I don't know if any, any of you remember uh, Sylvia Rich. She uh, put a, a posting on her on her Facebook page. Uh, you know, why uh, there are, there are why are, are the, the the same people that are saying we need to pray for the families of of the kids that were killed in this late, you know, and, and you know, these latest murders, evil person. It wasn't an evil God that did it. It was an evil person. Okay. But how can, how can we, you know, say, uh, how can they say, oh, we need to pray for those families 
when they won't allow prayer in schools. Well, they closed the school, so that's all. Yeah, and they're probably going to tear the school down from what I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. anyway. So, <clears throat> weeping and supplications, for they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, and here, you return ye backsliding children, uh, and this can uh, talk to us too, return and I will heal your backslidings. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can come back to me, I am not going to be angry with you forever, I will heal your backslidings. Behold, uh, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. Okay. So this is, you know, a good example of restoration, you know, after sin and repentance, and we are restored. Okay. Uh, truly, in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Okay. You're not going to get salvation in the mountains, in the high places, you're, you're not going to get salvation from those idols that you've been worshiping. Okay? Uh, you know, the high places, that's where they set up their, their temples. Every, everybody liked to set up their temples in the high places. And, uh, but you're not going to get any, any salvation from the hills. You know, you can, you can go up in the, in, in the mountains around here and, and you can enjoy the, the scenery and, and the, you know, and the cool breezes and up in the, you know, when, well, if it ever gets to be summer down here, you can enjoy the cool breezes up in the, up in the mountains. But there ain't, there, there ain't no salvation up there. Okay? Ain't no salvation. It's, it's in vain. And from the multitude of mountains, truly, in the Lord our God, and only in Him, and only through Him, that free gift of salvation, truly in the Lord our God, is the salvation of Israel. Uh, for shame hath devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. Shame for, for our sins. You know, eaten them up, devoured them. So we lie down in our shame. Okay? And, and, you know, you think about lying down in your shame. It's, it's like lying down on, on, a, on, a, on a, a, a filthy bed. Okay? And our confusion covereth us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God. We and our fathers from our youth even unto this day and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. And, you know, what, what can you say about the, you know, go with what the Bible says here, okay? We have sinned against the Lord our God, we and our fathers, from our youth even unto this day and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. And that's a Exactly where we'll quit today, right on time. Finish the chapter.